next, it might just be the most exclusive concert ever. Starting Friday and continuing for 10 days, Celebrity Series presents Concert for One. It's a free concert with one musician playing to one audience member for one minute. I get a preview in my own concert from Raina Yoon Jo, the violist who started it all. And I walked into the concert just as anyone else would. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'll shake your hand, but you're occupied. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna play a piece by Bowen, York Bowen. Oh, yes. appropriate. <laughs> Oh, I did not want it to end. <laughs> A minute goes by fast. Yes. It does. <laughs> First, how did you choose the piece? Uh, well, it really depends. Um, what I did was I picked my favorite pieces, excerpts from my favorite pieces that uh, made, a, made me fall in love with music at the first place. So I knew that um, my love for the piece will translate no matter who sits in front of me. Uh, you're more comfortable to hold your instrument? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it just so happens the same last name. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes. What is this moment like to just be one-on-one -on -one with someone? Uh, it's very intimate, <laughs> very direct. Um, I feel vulnerable but empowering at the same time because I know that this minute belongs to just us. And there's something absolutely magical and surreal, especially in our world today, to know that this minute belongs to just us. Uh, so how is it to, to come to the realization that we might be meant just to do this one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> The whole idea behind the project came to me um, three years ago when I was at a music conservatory, a very traditional setting for, for us, uh, where uh, my viola professor shared a quote with us that goes, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak, but courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. Mm. And then, so I just went home that night and I figured, Oh, what if we put a um, two person, a nervous musician and a nervous <laughs> listener alone in a room? What happens then? And then I started to really drill on the image, the, the, the room and the, all the possibilities, all the reactions. And, and I knew that I had to bring this to life. Well, you've done this already in Taiwan. Yes. And how much of what you experienced was what you had envisioned? So the Taiwan version for me really was an, a social experiment because I had no idea what could happen. Um, this time in Boston, we also cannot really predict what would happen here. But back then, I, when the musicians asked me what they should expect, I didn't know even know what to say to them. Um, and for any experiment, one has to make predictions. And I can very hap I can happily admit that all my predictions were wrong. <laughs> yes, <laughs> such um, as. Uh, so the listeners, they walked in with a nervous uh, but curious expressions, not the awkwardness I predicted. But I thought, oh, they were intentionally seated so close to me. Maybe when I start to play, they will feel awkward and maybe look away. But no, um, none of them looked away. They looked directly into my eyes or at uh, my hands while they listened. That's what I did. Yes. So no, no one took out their phones. <laughs> Um, no one was worried about ma making mistakes, and everyone was just so focused in that 60 seconds. Well, let's talk a little bit about how this will happen here in Boston. Yes. First of all, this will, these will take place in shipping containers. Yes. <laughs> Why shipping containers? Yes. We are placing four shipping containers in Boston and Cambridge. Uh, and we wanted the shipping container, the exterior and the interior and all the interactive elements of it to reflect Boston, um, the diversity and the support for arts and the musicians. Our shipping containers will be colorful and it will be, um, it will be great. It just fit right into to, um, 
our city as I it was, we hope. <laughs> and you, I'm sure they will. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't make an appointment. No. You don't pay anything. Right. You just show up. Yes. And how much latitude do you give your musicians to play what what they want? Uh, they can play anything they want. Just play their favorite pieces. Are they taking requests? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> And how are you finding your mus musicians, and how many will you have? Yes, it was a di really difficult selection process, um, but uh, 60 amazing musicians were selected. Um, they're all from different backgrounds, um, different genres, um, and they will be joining me to, to perform. Well, you're playing the viola. Yes. Will, is it a span of instruments that they're yes, playing? Yes, uh, we will have a piano in it, so we will have pianists. Uh, a lot of string instruments like my uh, cellos, violinists, basses, uh, we have classical basses and jazz basses, and lute player, guitarist, vocalist, so it's a huge range of musicians. I hear you've had the, uh, just a range of reactions, from awkward to you've brought people to tears. Yes, uh, <laughs> so back in Taiwan, people d d cried and people laughed and people were just in awe. I, I have to say is every listener is different, every musician is different, and they're each of their reactions was different and unique. Do you think it'll change the way you work or perform in the future? Yes, uh, I've just had a more awareness of um, the audience. Even even is back in our traditional concert halls when it's all dark and you can't really see, but I know from the, my experiences that they are listening and they are watching and they're hoping to be moved in and, and, and then there is a connection. Um, no matter the, the distance between the stage and the audiences. And they, we have to remember that it is a conversation like that, this interview, that um, it, the, our craft is important, but, but our conversation is more important. Well, to remind people of that, first of all, I thank you for my concert for one. <laughs> I understand that I get to cheat, and I actually get to have two concerts for one. <laughs> What's the second piece that you'll play for us? Uh, I will play a piece also by Bowen. Yes, another excerpt by Bowen, and yes. Again, I wanted to be longer. Randy Yunjo, thank you so thank much for so my much. experience. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>